hello everyone this is another video uh, welcome to another video in this uh, in this video we are going to uh, continue with the task that we were doing in the last video let's jump back to our slides here and see what the task required so at the moment we are doing uh, we have already added a user we've created multiple users now we will edit the account properties and how to reset password and configure password policy so let's get started first of all how to add edit account property so that's really easy uh, all we need to do is go back here and within this you can select one of the users and you can see all of the user properties now once you see user properties here you can reset the password you can block sign in you can delete the user as well and uh, you can uh, and here you can see the username in the username you can also change the username as well so for example if I don't need 365 with the username I can just remove 365 and make it just Chris so this can be done so I've changed the username to just Chris now the same thing can be changed from Active Directory as well so uh, before going to Active Directory what else can we change from this Office 365 first of all we changed the user and here uh, you have some other properties as well if the user has other email address you can add another email address you can add users to the group you can add him to the role as well let's say you want to make chris a global admin you can just make him global admin and save so you, uh, chris is now a global admin in this uh, uh, in here uh, you, we can go back and you can change other properties as well so for example uh, you can change uh, here the first name so we are going to remove 365 Chris Green and display name remains the same office number telephone number uh, department everything can be changed right from here as well so here instead of this we can call this IT department save changes so this is one way of changing uh, user uh, properties. The other way is that you can select multiple users as well. So when you select multiple users and you can go here and you can go to manage contact information. So you cannot change everything, but you can change some of the properties within this. Now in here, you can see that there are most of the things are disabled. Uh, the reason is they are disabled because uh, there, are the, there are many users that are synced from Active Directory. So you can change only the properties of those users that are created in here in, in Office 365. For the user that are that are synced from Active Directory you you need to change you make changes from Active Directory and sync them back to uh, sync them back here uh, so for that reason so if I select just Chris Green and just like Chris Green I can select uh, let's say I'm looking for all of the users that have 365 in their name because uh, remember in the previous video we created uh, we basically Uh, we created some users with the name 365 in their name uh, we cannot search them like that I'm gonna go back here active users and filter clear filter and we can see all of the users here and uh, if I need to see uh, let's say the first name uh, with the uh, guest users allowed unsigned uh, users with errors so um, I'm looking for a new filter let's say I'm looking for the name of your filter will be um, 365 we are looking for all the users that start with that has the 365 in their name uh, they are in the same domain their status is their location is uh, this and so synchronize users users with errors unlicensed user unlicensed users with mailboxes so here we don't have anything specific uh, that we can find I think we should uh, we should basically select users export users uh, we can select here users so let's say if I sort by name or display name actually sort by name so in here If I go down in here I should be able to find one of the users so what am I looking for I'm looking for Ben I think uh, I'm looking for Ben 365 
Uh, so I can search for Ben right here, 365. So this is Ben. Okay, so Ben is here and the username is 365. Display name doesn't have 365 because when you are searching something, it is searching for the username. So we can search and you can click here. Now, the other way of changing the properties, you can go to Active Directory as well. So I can go to Active Directory, which I went here in Admin Center. You have Active Directory. This is Azure Active Directory for Office 365. And you can go to Azure Active Directory. And from here, you need to go to Users. Here you can see Users and Groups as well. If you need to see the list here, you can always go to All Services and press Star, whichever services you want to see right here. So uh, this is your favorite uh, screen. So in this case, I'm going to go to Users. And within Users, let's say if I try to find Ben, and Ben Andrew is right here. Let's say if I try to find 365, uh, so it's not able to find 365 in here, which is strange. Let's say if you need to find all the users with 365, uh, so that's fine. Uh, we'll do that in another time. Uh, there is a way to do that as well. So for example, if I select Ben from here, go into the properties, it will show me exactly the same profile because basically users are sitting here and you're making changes from here. So first of all, uh, let's go into edit and in edit uh, let's change Ben's first name to uh, remove 365 from first name and the email address as well and save changes and once you save changes and go back to office 365 here I'm gonna refresh this as soon as you refresh this and find you won't be able to find the user but once you uh, find Ben now you see that the name is fixed here. So whatever you change here that can be changed over there as well So that's how you do it now in order to reset the password of any user So resetting the password you just select a user and here uh, you can reset the password so uh, reset password in the reset password you need uh, you can just provide a new password for the user and then user require this user to change the password when they first log in so they will need to change this password so let's change give this user a password so i've provided this password here and this password uh, so now let's reset this password to uh, so in this case the password is reset and now I'm going to log in with uh, this username So the username will be Ben at 360 cloud training online uh, Which is this one. So I'm going to open another browser. So in this case I'm going to open new in private window and in here. I'm just going to log in with 365 and here I'm I am going to need the email address so I can type it or I can just go to the properties and copy this So copy and going back to here, we can type it. And since our domain is working, user is working, we can try the username. So the password is provided and as required, the user must change the password. So I am going to provide a new password so that user can log in and remember that Ben is not a global admin Ben is not a uh, Ben is just a normal user so uh, once Ben logs in uh, then you will see that it is looking for MFA we are just going to say skip for 14 minutes and yes so user you don't have permission to access this page to perform the change uh, what is that saying um uh, okay uh, just a second here it's just it's just i think we just need to refresh this page for once oh yes uh, because uh, we don't we have not assigned any applications to ben you are able to log in log in with ben uh, but uh, nothing is shown here at the moment so uh, in this case we are going to try and log in and uh, so Ben now is logging in so that error message was just a temporary message uh, Because if the user account was just created 
so this error message is just a temporary or you need to do click and view your account so now what we'll do is so we did reset the password now we will see how to change password settings password policy in office 365 so in order to change the password policy in office 365 all you need to do is go to uh, you need to go to uh, org settings so you need to go right here within settings org settings and within org settings you can go to uh, security and privacy and within security and privacy you can find the password expiration policy password expiration policy is right here and here you can make changes to this policy so this policy is saying all of the users uh, need to change their password in 365 days i mean uh, so you can change it to let's say 30 days in 30 days all users must change the password and users should be notified five days before the 30 days uh, limit is finished so before the before the password expiry five days before the expiry users will be notified that they need to change the password so this is done password policy is done uh, so this is how we can create a user create multiple users and then uh, set up the set up the policy uh, now that what do we need to do here now uh, let's go back to our presentation and in here so we reset the password we change the policy using azure admin uh, portal so we just went into azure admin portal and we've seen the users will be going back to azure admin as well delegating admin roles so in order to delegate admin roles and then we need to set up mfa in both cases uh, we would need to so I'm gonna go back here so first of all how do you delegate admin role so in order to delegate admin role you just need to go back here and select a user just like uh, previously we uh, we delegate Chris as a, as a global admin so in this case I'm gonna go to uh, let's say Abdul here select Abdul and you can make him uh, make him global admin as well so here within roles you need to go here and let's make abdul exchange admin so that abdul should be able to manage exchange which is email administration so this is how we delegate roles now in order to enable mfa for all of these users so let's say if i'm here here you have multi-factor authentication and what is multi-factor authentication multi-factor authentication is basically uh, where you want users to uh, to use a code from your phone uh, uh, in addition to your username and password so just like in that browser we just logged in to Ben with a, with just a username when we enable multi-factor authentication then you need to then you will get a code on your phone and then uh, you, then only you will be able to log in so let's uh, log in with up so let's enable multi-factor authentication for Abdul I'm just gonna go here select Abdul and uh, in order to enable multi-factor authentication there are a few ways to enable uh, you can go right here and manage multi-factor authentication and let's do that from basically Active Directory so we can go back to Active Directory go to users and within users we can find the user called Abdul which is this one and let's go here within uh, here and in this uh, we can look for multi-factor authentication which is authentication methods and within authentication method we can reconfigure we can uh, require re-register uh, uh, MFA so this is right from here you can enable multi-factor authentication as well uh, from here or I can go back to uh, the preferred way of doing it is doing it all their user administration right from here you can go back to Azure Active Directory if you know how to work with Active Directory but most of the Office 365 user administration is done right from here so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go back here and go to users going back here and manage multi-factor authentication and within multi-factor authentication all we need to do is it opens another page where you you will be able to enable or disable multi-factor authentication for all these users so in this case I'm gonna select Abdul and enable multi-factor authentication so once the Abdul's multi-factor authentication is enabled uh, now this user is selected so let's go also to Ben 
and in case of uh, in case of Ben uh, so I'm gonna go to so we are looking for Ben which is here and enable multi-factor authentication so this is enabled we will we'll go back to his uh, we'll go back to so, so this is enabled now how do you log in uh, remember that we are already logged in with Ben in this account so all I need to do is to log off and log back in so this is Ben and so we can again log in with Ben and the password that we selected for Ben and this time uh, you are protected saying that you're protected uh, you are uh, you must use MFA so this time you cannot ignore MFA last time we ignored where it was saying that you have 14 days to enable MFA uh, so in this case it is just saying that uh, you need to now provide another method of authentication so I'm gonna click next on the screen and as soon as you click next it will ask you to set up multi-factor authentication to Ben so let's say Ben is logged in so Ben needs to have authenticator app on his mobile so authenticator app and authenticator app basically Microsoft authenticator app is something uh, like this so this is the uh, Microsoft authenticator app once you log in uh, once you download this app and install the app it will look like this here and then in this you need to go to this three dots and add multi-factor authentication so this is exactly what I'm doing now on my phone and I am going to set up I'm gonna open multi-factor authentication so in in multi-factor authentication all I'm doing is I'm opening this I've opened this and I've clicked on these three dots and I can see add account and then I need to select personal account after that and then it will ask for the QR code and the QR code will be available right on the next screen so uh, I'll click next on this and I will scan the QR code as soon as I did uh, it automatically appeared on my uh, phone it is added it's the messages uh, it's added successfully and uh, in this case I can see that and I'll click next on this and it is in now on my message I get a message for approve sign in for Ben so I will just click approve as soon as I do it will automatically uh, let it will let me log in so notification approved because I clicked approved on my phone and it is successful so we enabled multi-factor authentication for Abdul in this uh, video uh, so uh, guys thank you for watching this video and uh, in order to practice all this redo this again uh, following every all the steps uh, within the video and also uh, following all of the tasks that are mentioned in the presentation uh, file in the presentation slide that I've showed uh, uh, in the beginning of this video uh, thank you for watching this video and I will see you again in another one